Hey, be careful with those crates. Work. Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Sorry. Spaces. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Specifically, definitely, definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. He did? Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you! It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. <laughs> Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink! Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we... We get together, and she gets bored of me. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? What do you mean, Captain? So if I'm doing my very best to be kind and open-hearted, I shouldn't worry how she thinks of me? 
Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think... ungenerous thoughts. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, <laughs> for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Come on, let's go. Hey, that pad down. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Oh, well, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still ain't. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. How yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... there's viscera and death. Everywhere! Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed! For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help! What?! Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Forgive me, Captain. I would rather... Was there another topic? No. I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. 
It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. He asked me to trust him. I like the game. Be fun. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. a touch different from the ones I've seen. Shouldn't be so hard to get it patched up, though. Perfect spot for some peace and quiet. Take a hint.
missed it. Nicely done. That's clever. Why was I built to feel ennui? We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Can we talk? This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call, and whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there, see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us. Please avoid death. Switching yourself or others while you're out.
Welcome. Looks like we missed the fun. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Forget I said anything about that. Scientist, name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Oh, before I forget, Anti Cleos makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice petals. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? Oh, well, good luck. Now, if we got the carbon, then, you know, it's just a matter of forcing you, idiot. Just put it. I am Orson Shaw, chief behavioral scientist. I was brought in to study the raptodons. I was to ensure that, should a problem arise, our team is adequately equipped to deal with them. 
They are insatiably hungry, absolutely impossible to control in any fashion, and indeed appear to be powered entirely by hate. No amount of studying will enable us to control them, or even slightly sate their aggression. Indeed. Now that you fully grasp the gravity of the situation, I wonder if you might do me a favor. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Out the south gate. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. I told you. Oh boy. I don't think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's gonna tell you to make tracks. Want to treat yourself before you go? Something for the road, maybe? I don't really know you. Roseway is supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Sure. Not like I get many customers. I'm so glad you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. These people are wrong. Truth is, we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years Exciting times. Can't say I do. Any Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. At least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. I hear it's like that all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, may have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Suffice it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Those need not be mutually exclusive. My work would benefit everyone, and not just within our colony. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. <laughs> <laughs> 